Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball Card Breaks. Today we offer you the Time Travel Tuesday edition where we'll be opening a box of 1980 Skybox Dugout Access. Now in this box uh, we have 12 packs of 12 cards and uh, there are a lot of significant um, parallels and subsets in here. Um, <clears throat> primarily what we'll be looking for are the cards that are numbered to 50. Um, there are other subsets, like there's a subset, it's not listed here, but it's called uh, Gronk, which is a list of all the uh, home run hitters of the era. And those cards are actually going for pretty good value on eBay. What we'll be looking for today are the uh, Ken Griffey Jr. cards. Um, the Gronk card in a BGS 10 uh, has gone for $240 this week. And in a PSA 10, it went for $73. So hopefully we'll be able to pull one of those. Um, in addition, there are two Jeter cards that are part of the uh, set that's numbered to 50. And those cards uh, in a PSA 8 went for $203 and $130 in the past week. So those are the primary cards we'll be looking for. I only paid $10 for these. So I put, you know, pretty good value. There was two boxes of them at my local card shop. I bought them both. Um, and we're just going to open the one today. Um, let's go ahead and uh, crack this open. Somewhere here. There we go. Now, um, some of the other interesting things about this set is that in 1998, Flair had a promotion going on at card shops where um, they had 800 cards that were signed by Todd Helton, and there was a um, promotion for a card flipping contest at uh, 380 stores. So each um, store that was participating was sent uh, two cards, one for the winner of the contest and one for the uh, card shop owner. So those cards won't be available um, in this uh, in this box, but perhaps we might uh, be able to find them on eBay. So I'm going to look into that a little bit later on uh, this afternoon. So there's the uh, 12 cards, 12, I'm sorry, 12 packs of 12 cards. And uh, let's see what we can find. The only two good rookies in this set are uh, Mike Lowell, who at the time was a rookie for the Yankees, and uh, Meglio Adorn Ador <laughs> Ordonez, who was a rookie for the uh, White Sox. So let's take a look and see what we can find. These packs went for $1.59 at um, card shops back in the uh, in 1998. Sorry, these are a little bit difficult to open. So let's see what we can find in here. Hopefully we can find some of their number to 50. Those are the big ones. So we're uh, starting off with a good one. This is um, Barry Bonds. This is actually the third most popular card in the set. Um, looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's see. Then we also have uh, Travis Lee. Sorry, these are hard to read. And this is a trivia card for Chuck Knobloch. Let's see. So this is questions and answers. So this is part of the, the base set. There's 150 cards total, and I believe cards that are uh, 101 to 150 are all um, like additional parallel cards. Oh, these are so tough to read. I can't tell who that is. I mean, is that Kenny Lofton, looks like? Frequent Flyers, Access Airlines. It looks like a little credit, credit card is rounded off on the edges. Yeah, Kenny Lofton. That's cool. And uh, here's a, <laughs> a superhero subset. 
with uh, Chipper Jones as Captain America. Nice. And then these are what the base cards look like. So, of course, we're looking for um, Ken Griffey Jr. and uh, Jeter Bonds, of course. And this is Hall of Famer Randy Johnson. Robin Ventura. Pudge. Pudge Rodriguez. Hall of Famer. Mark Grzelanek. Raul Mondesi. And uh, Kevin Brown. So that's the first pack. So there's a couple Hall of Famers in there. Alright, pack number two. There it is. There's Jeter. Double header. So if I remember right, this is the card that in a PS8, PS, yeah, PSA 8 is going for 130. So it seems to be in pretty good shape. It's card 4 of 20 in that set. Nice. Now I don't know um, what the cards look like that are... Um, this Jose Cruz Jr. I don't know if these cards look like uh, if they are numbered to 50. So maybe at the end we might have to go back and just take a look at um, the backs of the cards real quick and uh, see if we can identify them if, if they're not obvious. Uh, there's Charles Johnson. Little Dogs card. <laughs> That's uh, Eli Marrero. The Little Dogs card is the card that is signed by uh, Todd Helton, the 800 card set. There's uh, Albert Bell for the White Sox. And there's a license plate, which I think these all have uh, the nicknames on them. So, uh, of course, there's Chipper Jones. Nameplates. And there we go. There's Ken Griffey Jr.'s base card. So that looks to be in pretty good condition, possibly gradable. So we're going to put that one aside. And there's uh, Tony Clark's nameplate card. Tony Clark is the only uh, MLB jersey I've ever owned. And then a Little Dogs of Mike Caruso, Sean Estes, Ken Caminiti, MVP. Winner, and there's uh, Tony Clark again. So we've got a Bonds, we've got a Griffey, we've got a Jeter. I think we're off to a pretty good start. I think my goal is um, sometime, maybe at the beginning of November, I want to send a, you know 20 cards into a PSA to be graded. <clears throat> and um, I, they used to have like a turnaround time of like a month, but. Uh, now uh, they've gone back to their normal uh, time frame. There's another Tony Clark. So, um, you know, it's probably two, two and a half months before you get him back. There's a Mark McGuire doubleheader. Ricky Botalico, who was the closer for the Phillies for a while. There's a card that's backwards. Who we look? Oh. No, I guess that is the front. Levon Hernandez. Trivia card. And then uh, the Jambino, Jason Giambi. And uh, there's the Jeter sketch card. So this is a subset. And this is the one that's going for $203 in a 10 on a PSA 10 on eBay. So we're doing pretty good with. Um, possible gradable cards. <clears throat> There's a uh, one gone, whose other nickname was Igor. Another sketch card of Tony Gwynn. Yeah. Tony Gwynn. Uh, we have Matt Williams for the D-backs. Kevin Apier. Bobby Higginson for my Tigers. And there's uh, Juan Gonzalez again. So we are off to a pretty good start.
All right, so here's a Noma, Nomar Garcia Para. And Mo Vaughn, a couple Red Sox. It's Pedro, another Red Sox player, Hall of Famer. Reggie Sanders, the hit dog, Mo Vaughn. Kind of looks like his body <laughs> is covering up the S. But, you know, I think it's supposed to be hit dog, not the other word. So we have a little dogs of Travis Lee. Sketch card of uh, Mike Piazza. And another little dog of uh, Rich Butler of the Devil Rays. Um, yeah, I don't know who that is. So like the Devil Rays, this is 98. So the Devil Rays and the Diamondbacks, I think they were expansion teams that year. Is, is that right? There's another Mike Piazza base card. Roger Clemens looking to lay down a bunt. Wilson Alvarez and Hall of Famer Barry Larkin. So, so far so good with these uh, these cards. Again, we're really looking for the ones that are numbered to 50. Um, do they have the odds on here? No, they don't. So, there we go, I guess they do. So, uh, so double headers are two per pack, frequent flyers are one for four, superheroes are one for 20, and we already have a Chipper Jones in that, and dishwashers are one in eight packs. So we should have one of those in here. It doesn't say what the um, what the uh, 50 card sets are, uh, the odds are. So uh, there's a Juan Gonzalez double header and a Mike Piazza double header. Base card for Matt Stairs and another frequent flyer that is Brian Hunter. Oh, the Tigers. That's right, he did spend one season on the Tigers. And he did lead the league in stolen bases that year. And then we got a Ripken. We got a Cal Ripken in the seventh inning sketch. Little Dogs, Brian Rose. Little Dogs, is that like supposed to be uh, like rookies or prospects? Is Greg Norton of the White Sox. Another Little Dogs. Mark Kotze of the Marlins. And Ray Lankford. We have Roger Clemens in the uh, nameplates. Mark Grace. And Rondell White. So I believe we're halfway through these packs. There's another Griffey doubleheader. That's good. Looks to be in good shape. It's Cal Ripken. A sketch card of Randy Johnson. Ray Adornias. Didn't hit much, but great defensive shortstop. Got some more little dogs. Brad Fulmer. Ben Grieve, who won Rookie of the Year, I think in 1998. Ryan Jackson. And uh, Rolando Arojo for the Rays. Sandy Alomar Jr. Taking a photo of someone. Kenny Lofton, seventh inning sketch. There's Vladdy Sr. And Tim Salmon. I actually kind of like these cards. For 10 bucks. I mean, you can't go wrong. You get a couple of these uh, Griffey cards graded, and you're in, you're in pretty good shape. Okay, so um, we're starting off with a Chipper Jones doubleheader. 
I think this must be a maybe a game within the card set. There's Pudge. Seventh inning sketch. Is that? Uh, that's Nomar. Cal Ripka Jr. base card. So here's the one in four. Uh, what is this? One in eight packs. Uh, dishwashers. Daryl Kyle. I'm guessing that must be somebody who really paints the plate. There's only 10 cards in the subset. And Kyle's 7 out of 10. Nice. Then we have a trivia card of Andrew Jones. Back to the little dogs. There's a Cliff Polite. Base card of Travis Lee. Crime dog, Fred McGriff. Little dog of uh, Paul Canerco. So yeah, these must be like their version of rookie cards or prospect cards because Canerco back on the Dodgers before he ever got traded to the Sox. So that's, that's a good card. Uh, Jim Edmonds and Hall of Famer Paul Molitor. So we're down to our final uh, five packs here. And uh, again, I'm really mostly curious about uh, discovering one of those cards numbered to 50. So when this uh, when this is over, well, with the packs, we'll go through real quick and just check the backs. So we're starting off a doubleheader with uh, Kenny Lofton, who um, I think in the near future will probably get elected to the Hall of Fame. I mean, um, with his stolen bases, and uh, I believe he got close to 3,000 hits. Scott Rowland, another uh, future Hall of Famer on the ballot, still on the ballot, getting closer every year. Little Dogs with uh, Kareem Garcia. He came up through the Tigers system. Brad Radke. A little Dogs of Maglio Ordonez. There you go. One of the better rookies in the set. There's Hall of Famer Larry Walker. A trivia card of uh, Rafael Palmero. Moises Alou on the Astros. Sammy Sosa. Little Dogs of A.J. Hinch. Rumored to be the uh, new Tigers manager. Johnny Damon, way back in his uh, Royals days. And Sean Green. So with a 150 card base set, you clearly get the, you know, the best stars of that era. Let's see, we have here Bags, Jeff Bagwell. Big Hurt, Frank Thomas. Both of those were double header cards. And then we have uh, Enrique Wilson, Little Dogs. Here's another um, Axis Airlines, Frequent Flyer. That card is of Eric Young, Eric Young Sr. Then we have a Little Dogs of Mike Lowell. There's a rookie card, so he's in the uh, Yankees uniform. Scott Rowland in the, uh, is that the uh, Negro Leagues? Philly, yeah, that's it's the uh, Philly Stars. Daryl Kyle, Mark McGuire, base card. Jeremy Burnitz. Miguel Tejada, Little Dogs. Jose Cruz Jr. And there's a Pudge Rodriguez, nameplates. Okay, so we're down to our final three packs. All right, so we have Albert Bell, Tony Gwynn, doubleheader, Little Dogs of uh, Jeff Supan, Trivia Card of Jay Buhner, Trivia Card 
of Jose Cruz Jr., Robbie Alomar, Hall of Famer base set, Kurt Schilling, maybe this year gets into the Hall of Fame, Jim Tomey, another Hall of Famer, one of my favorite players, JT Snow, Andy Bennis. There we go, there's a Junior Griffey. Put that one aside. Looks pretty good, right? And uh, Jeff Bagwell, seventh inning sketch. Two packs to go. More little dogs. So uh, another uh, double header of Barry Bonds. It's the second one of those. And uh, Travis Lee. I don't really remember Travis Lee being that great of a hitter that he deserved to be in the set, but maybe he was. Then we have uh, Vinny Castilla, trivia card. Edgar Renteria, Vinny Castilla base set. And Bernie Williams, Mo Vaughn, A-Rod, there we go. It's a nice card. Dean Palmer, Hideo Nomo, and uh, Greg Maddox, seventh inning sketch, and a little dogs of Todd Helton. Not autographed, but we'll take it anyway. And here's the last pack, and then we're going to go back and quickly look for uh, anything numbered to 50. Here we have uh, a Jeter doubleheader. And Jose Cruz Jr. Brett Boone. Tony Womack. Bernard Gilkey. Big Hurt Trivia, Andy Pettit, Greg Maddox base card, Fernando Tatis, there's the daddy, Tony Gwynn, a little dogs of Richard Hidalgo, and a little dogs of Ricky Lede. So <clears throat> let's quickly, I'm going to do this little by little here, but Let's go through and see if on the back there's any uh, numbered cards. Hopefully we'll be able to spot it. The uh, Anything that's in that uh, number to 50 subset, those are all fairly valuable and really the only base cards that, um, that um, have any real value, at least based on what, is, uh, what it says on um, the Beckett website. So far I'm not seeing anything. I wish I knew what the odds were uh, in order to find them per pack or per box. Yeah, this is real exciting, I'm sure, for everyone watching, but maybe you're just as curious as I am. Okay, so nothing there. Yeah, it's not like they're in like a gold leaf or anything like that stamped in a different way. I'm not even sure what part of the back of the card they it would be on. So we did get the one dishwashers per box. Um, I wish it were, uh, you know, Pedro or somebody like that. Uh, nope, so far nothing. Where's this Lou? Sammy Sosa. I don't know if I'm if I miss it and you guys see one, feel free to leave it in the comments because uh, I'm I'm not seeing any so far. If it, I mean, it, it's possible it could say it on the front. I mean, these cards are, you know, 22 years old. So maybe in the old days, maybe they put it on the front. But 
Um, so far, I'm not, I didn't see any on the front the first time through. And we're not going to be doing that again. So we'll, we'll just check this out. Real quick here. Nothing particularly exciting. Yep. But like I said, I bought two boxes of these, so I'll probably go through the other box on my own. And if I um, if I do pull out one, I will um, present it in the next um, in the next card. Uh, break that I do. And although, although this is not very interesting, I'm sure to most of you, um, if you enjoy our, our content in general, please like and subscribe. And uh, you'll be uh, notified of all future uh, card breaks that we do. Four of ten in the superheroes. That was the one per, uh, per box. That's a really cool card. Randy Johnson. Ventura, so no, I don't see any there. And we're gonna take a look at these, uh, the, the Griffey Juniors that I found, maybe see if we have uh, some luck on those. There's also a Jeter there. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right, well, it was worth a shot going back through them and, and checking them out. So um, appreciate everyone taking the time to uh, watch the video. And uh, we'll have another video coming up this Saturday. Feel free to check back with us. And uh, everyone, have a great night.